Now we've talked plenty of times about cacti that use camouflage as a means of avoiding uh, predation as opposed to spines. What about cacti that use their spines as camouflage? And there's no plant that does this better than uh, this guy right here. There's probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 of these plants right here. Epithelantha micromeris, using the spines not for armed defense to avoid predation, but as a means of blending in and just hiding from uh, from anything that might want to eat you. You can see there's one right there. It's very dry here in the Chihuahua Desert right now, but you could see a oh, nice ground lichen, by the way. So you can see there's quite literally dozens of these guys. They're everywhere. There's one, there's one, there's another, 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 another. Just little golf balls. They start off as little marbles and then golf balls. You can see they'll flower when they will flower. They'll flower right out of that apical meristem right there. And then uh, when they're going to fruit they produce a very conspicuous red fruit it's very easy to find them when they're fruiting and that fruit is uh, so conspicuous because it's uh, dispersed by birds and so uh, that's a means of attracting the uh, birds that come down pluck those fruits out eat the fleshy outside of the fruit and then disperse the seeds everywhere but you can see there's there's many of them here growing here with this caliandra conferta got some thymophila species you know crispy is a season the phenology is very, uh, it's very crispy right now, very dry. Got Lipia oregonoides here as well, almost entirely leafless. Still got that wonderful smell to it. As well, Verbenaceae is the family there. And then we got Coryphantha echinus as well, which is going for the same thing, but those spines are a little bit more pokey, and uh, it doesn't hide as well as that Bethelanthe. You can see it's gone to fruit right there, and that fruit has the withered flower on top of it. Works great. There's many, many more in this uh, substrate right here. There's gotta be two or 300 uh, of, of these individuals. Two or 300 individual Epithelantha micromeris. Some very nice uh, Cretaceous fossils in this uh, limestone as well. Won't even see these guys if you're standing on top of them unless you got a really good eye and you can uh, make out the patterns. And once you see one or two, you start seeing them everywhere. You, know, you can see when they're, there's probably tiny, was they, they start out as seedlings, they're just embedded in those pebbles and you won't even see them till they're a couple years old like that guy yeah look at that man there's just there's hundreds of them if i saw these plants in a pot and i'd never seen them before in habitat i would still automatically know because of the way that they look that they came from a limestone geology the habitat quite literally builds that is naturally selects for the plants that's all i gotta have a great day go fuck yourself bye